Hey everybody, how you doing? Oh, um, I have, I'm going to just do a landscape like I have done the uh, sunset landscape before, but this one's just gonna have a mountain in it. And let's see, I have all my paints with two parts Floetrol and one part uh, paint and water as needed to bring them all to a warm honey consistency. And there's no silicone. Okay, so let's get started. So we need three cups. That's it. Really easy stuff. I hope my blue sells up good because usually my pre-mixed paints, when they sit for a couple days, sell up better, but I just had to mix up some more blue, so we'll see. Let me check my consistency real quick on that. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's good. Okay. All right, so there is our water. Put plenty in there. I do not have much white left. Great. No. We can't do that. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm going to have to make up some white real quick. Be back. Okay. So yeah, usually when my paint sets for at least two days with the flow draw, I get pretty good cells. Well, we'll see. So I'm just going to pour some white in there. Like that. And then we're going to do pale blue for the sky. Add some white. Okay. Mountains, boy, you can just be as creative as you want, really. Um, my last ones I've used this, but I don't have a whole lot of that made up right now. Let me see. No, I don't. The brown. That's okay. We'll put the brown in. Hope we have enough. Probably not. Okay, so then we're going to use buff. Could be a little bit different color than I just did. Let me see if I have brown over here. Oh, I've got wine. Dark top hay, no. What's this? Spanish tile. Hmm. Could put some Spanish tile in there. <laughs> I was not prepared, obviously, was I? <laughs> That's all good. Just a little bit for like Red Rock, Sedona or something, you know. <laughs> Let's hope we have enough. Golden brown, lots of golden brown. That Red Rock might, that golden. That Spanish tile might have messed things up. And some buff, khaki, and gold mixed. So... Yeah, you can just about do mountains, lots of colors. I'm thinking of Sedona Red Rock. <laughs> I hope it works out right. The last one I did not use the Spanish tile though. So I'm just going to do little 
swirls and I think I probably put too much of the white in there. And then I did put just a few squirts of the black for the mountain. That's it. Now I'm going to mix just a little swirl of each. Sure hope I got my colors right here. Okay. This is going to be our mountain. looking colors to be honest with you we'll see and then our sky The easiest part. That's it. And I sure hope it works out like it. I start with my top. Keep my corners there. Okay. Then I kind of work with my bottom. The blue on the bottom. Just a little bit. Then I slide it up. Position my paint so that I can get that middle part up the mountain. Slide it up. Position it again. Slide it up. Okay. Then, that's pretty cool actually. I like it. Looks like the clouds are coming down on the mountain there. I really don't want to mess with it anymore. I think it's good. That's it, guys. <laughs> it's pretty simple. I did not have a whole lot of white obviously in here like I wanted yeah but this is kind of cool because it looks like the fog or the cloud is just coming down on the mountain there that's actually neat so anyway that's it it's like easy breezy stuff but you want to get creative with your mountain colors a little bit more darker yeah i ran out of the dark the regular brown so but it's still all good you know and this is gonna sell up looks like we're getting some rocks in here not much waves in my water 
We are getting some cells up in there, but I didn't put enough white in my water, unfortunately. That's kind of neat, though, because that looks like the waves are hitting the mountain there. So, yeah, that's how you do it. Real easy. But I would... If, if I wanted to, I could pour another layer of blue. But you know what? I'm happy with it. I think it's going to sell up here a little bit more, too. I like the way the mountain top turned out with the black on the rims. That's kind of neat. That's it. I did like my other mountains better. I did a painting just a little while ago. The mountains were more um, dark brown. So yeah. But that's it guys. Hold it up for you. And the sky is not lacing like it should have either because I just made up that white but it's all good. I do not use silicone um, a whole lot on these because I usually get cells because my pre-mixed bottles just sitting. Yeah, that looks like, you know how fog coming down on her? It could even be snow. It's neat how it looks like it's splashed up on the rocks, those waves. Up there went the air again. So that's it. So it's gonna it's actually starting to sell up more and that's good. So I kind of want that to lace up some, and I think it will with time. So that's it. I like this one. It's definitely more lighter mountain color, but I like the black in there too because that kind of gives it a shadowy look and uh, definition there. So I like how the rocks are coming down into the water there too. This is a cool one. Um, I'll show you the other one when it dries because I don't want to pick it up right now. I don't want to smudge my sides at all. That's like seriously something I do not want. I like the sides completely the color of the ocean here or the sky. And that's what I'll do is I'll take whatever leftover paint in my cup There is any bare spots. This one's cool. I kind of like this one a little better because it has that mountainy look. My other one is sort of like a flat. Yeah, I'll have to show that to you. Okay, guys, take it easy. Hope you're having a good evening or a good day. And stay positive, and I will talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.